What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel smoking and grilling but check this out today I'm getting ready to just bring this back to the forefront right for all of you guys that already know about making these uh, little quick cream cheese you know cheesecakes hey this is it right here so I'm not gonna over talk it I'm gonna just show you how simple it is and I'm gonna show you two different ways if you really want to make it fast I'm gonna go ahead and get my critics I'm gonna get them out the way I'm gonna go ahead and make the graham cracker crust you know on my own but I'm telling you if you get yourself one of these ready-made crusts hey it just becomes Comes super fast super easy eight minutes and then you already in the refrigerator chilling so with me saying all of that let's go over these ingredients and let's just make this happen all right so this is it right here look get yourself some whipped cream listen this serves a purpose not hey not just the fact that it tastes good you know what I mean but you want to have some whipped cream right here we got some vanilla extract here we got some lemon juice you just saw the ready-made pie crust right this is the way I'm gonna show you the super simple way and then I'm gonna show you it still is easy to go ahead and get yourself some graham crackers we're gonna grind these down that's where the butter comes in we're gonna put this butter in there and then we're gonna go ahead and line one of these you know pie crust now here look I'm just showing you my Philadelphia you know cream cheese right look how soft that is you want it to be at room temperature that's really really key helps with the mixing and this right here is just the Eagle brand 14 ounce can of condensing sweet milk Hey, super simple, super easy. And listen, if you don't have no, if you don't have a, uh, a mixer, like, you know, like a big mixer, like, like, you know, like some people do, you can go ahead and get yourself a hand mixer. This all goes together real easy in one of these bowls. And then look, check this out. I went ahead and did this already on my own. I got me some strawberries. I went ahead and just cut them, you know, trimmed them, cut them in different sizes or whatever. And this is what we're gonna put on top. You guys can put cherries, blueberries, or whatever you want, but strawberries is my choice. Hey, so with that being said, let's get ahead and get started. Now, we're getting ready to make our, you know, our graham cracker crust, right? What you wanna do is you wanna get yourself like 10 to 12. I started with just 10 whole graham crackers and you wanna go ahead and put them in your blender, right? And then right here, listen, we just wanna post them. We want it in between the coarse and a fine grind, right? So somewhere like a medium. Get a look, it should look like this. But once you got it done, let me take this top off so I can show you. You know what, real easy, and I think visuals make the best reference. So check this out right here. Look, it should look just like that. All right, so get yourself a bowl, you know. Then we'll go ahead and just pour this, you know, our, our graham crackers in there, right? Now, I'm gonna go ahead, melt my butter, and then we're gonna apply our butter here. Now you just wanna go ahead and pour your melted butter right on top of your, you know, your graham cracker crumbs, right? And this I forgot to show you guys earlier, you know, when we were going over the ingredients, that's just a quarter cup of white granulated sugar. Now, just go ahead and mix it all up. Once you got it mixed up, then what you wanna do is you wanna get in there with your hand. Look, I'm squeezing it and I'm compacting it and I'm making sure that that melted butter spreads throughout all of the graham cracker crumbs, right? Because that's going to be the agent that's going to hold everything together. It should feel like wet sand. Now that right there is just my glass Pyrex, you know, pie. I don't even know what to call it. It's just like a, you know, my pie form, right? It's nine and a half inches. So what you want to do is get yourself a couple of handfuls and, you know, put it in there and just put it on the bottom for your bottom crust. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the bottom. Look, I got a glass, even you know circular bottom right it sucks that it got this little indentation but i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna do we're just gonna take it like this and we're just gonna go around like that right and we just keep on going around just like you see here you just want to keep working it and if you can tell i'll do it let me turn it over here on this side so you guys can see this right here seems to be a little higher right so as i do it like this look it spreads towards the edge because we want to have pie crust on the edge right now, once you're done doing the bottom, what you do is you add the rest of your graham cracker, you know, uh, crumbs, you add them towards the edge, and you want to take your hand and just like mash them in there, just like you see there. And then when you're done, you got them all mashed in, right? I take my thumb and just like get everything back in there because sometimes you'll push it and it'll come up over the top and then get your, your you know, your, uh, your cup and just go ahead and just start working it and use the side of your glass, you know, to work the edges. And it should look just like what you see right there. Okay, so it should look just like this, right? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator, right? We're gonna put it in for one hour. We're gonna let it chill. And that's when you know, now you go ahead and make the rest and then we use it. Okay, now you just wanna get yourself a big enough bowl, right? It gotta at least be big enough for you to get your hand mixer, you know, to go around, 
right? So now we got a bowl. Remember, this is key. This needed to be room temperature. So I'm gonna open this and we wanna put that in there. If you don't have a room temperature, you're gonna know right off the back because it's gonna be extremely hard for you to mix it, right? So you can't really like cheat this part. Now you wanna go ahead and you wanna get your mixer. You start off on low. Remember that, always start off on low. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get it to mix, right? And what we wanna do is just so that it becomes creamy. You can increase the speed as, you know, it depends on how soft your cream cheese is. But you'll see it's getting starting to get light and fluffy. Once it does that, then I'm gonna go ahead and stop. Just like you see that, just like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up my condensed sweet milk. And you just wanna get yourself like a spatula, you know what I mean, something like that. It's any type of rubber product, you know what I mean? It's that small enough so you can get in here and you can get all of your ingredients in here. Now, you see we got it in here. Remember, the key is starting off on low. You know what I mean? So we just wanna get it, start getting it to pick up some of the cream cheese and just incorporating this together. Now I'm gonna stop it here. Right? What we wanna do is you wanna get your regular, you know, your big spatula, right? And you wanna rub it along the side of the bowl. You know what I mean? And by me using a small bowl, I mean a glass bowl, you can look, you can look on the edges and you can make sure that you got it all because you want it all to turn in the middle. We start back again on low. Now you want to grab your lemon juice and you want to just start pouring in just a little bit at a time. Remember, a little bit and everything is in increments, right? And then last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and add our vanilla extract. Then we just go ahead and turn it off. Shake your beaters off. I'm gonna be real with you, my granny used to give me the beaters too. Hey, so we're gonna set this off to the side, then we're gonna get our pie crust, and then we're gonna pour this in and get our filling in there. Look. I just went ahead and just put my ready-made pie crust right here, right? I'm gonna do this one right now because you guys saw that I stuck to uh, the one that we made. I made that already and it hadn't been an hour yet. So I'm gonna just show you, this is what makes it super fast. So once you peel this back, I'm gonna tell you the advantages of having this. Once you peel it back, when you're done, you put this on top, close it up, and you got an instant lid, right? But we're just gonna set this off to the side, get yourself a spatula again. You want it to be like super clean. Then you want to position yourself where you can pour this right over the top. So what I'm gonna do is just start getting this to work itself down and we'll just start adding this to our pie crust. Hey, listen, hey, this is not rocket science, but the reason I made this video is just to show you guys to bring it back to the forefront of our mind that these are like super easy to make. They huge on taste. Now you just take your, that same spatula and you just wanna like push it around to the edges. That's it. When I tell you it ain't rocket science, it's not. And then listen, you don't even have to put this one in the oven. What we're gonna do is we're gonna chill this. We're gonna chill this for a minimum of an hour. You know what I mean? Because we want it to be firm. For you, for you people that's out there that really be getting your bacon with the sweets and all that, you know how to make them squirrels and do all that kind of stuff. Me, I just get it halfway level, just like that. And since we ain't got no kids, I'm gonna go ahead and hit that myself. And now that we're done with that, go ahead and get your lid, go ahead and put it on top. You just wanna close it and set it in the refrigerator for a minimum of one hour so that it can chill and be firm. Okay, so look, I just took it out of the refrigerator. Hey, right off the back, as soon as you take it and you pick it up, when your hands reach under the bottom of it, you can feel just how firm it is. That's why we needed to put it into the refrigerator, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Just where the fun part comes, you know what I mean? So we're gonna take this off like this. Then you want to get yourself some, this is all completely optional. Like I said, you can do strawberry or you can do, you know, cherries or whatever. But I like to do this in this form. When I use the, when I use the whipped cream, I'm going to go around. Look, this is going to make the barrier that's going to seal my, my juices and my strawberries in like in the middle, right? So we're just going to get it like this. Just like you see there. You can build it up any kind of way you want to. Now I'm gonna go ahead, let me take the saran wrap off. I got myself a slotted spoon because I don't want to put all the juices in there, right? So when I get it, I let it strain. And then we just add it right here to the middle. 
just like you see here. Strain. You know, but all I can tell you is it's gonna be like super good, super delicious. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and get myself a spoon and we're gonna take some of this juice that rendered down, some of this sweet juice, and we're just gonna add just a little bit to it. Not too much, because we don't want it to run everywhere. And boom, you guys tell me what you think. Hey, and don't that say diner, but I promise you it's like super good. And for those of you guys that got those uh, Marie calendars by you, this is it. We ain't gotta spend $20 now for a pie. You can make this for about six or seven bucks. So look, you guys just seen it. You see how easy it is to make. And again, this video was just about, you know, bringing it to our forefront of our brain. Listen, you wanna make a dessert, you don't wanna have, hey, plus it's hot right now, right? So you can put this together. There's no oven work, no nothing like that. Just like super easy, super fast. And I feel like I'm talking a lot, so I'm gonna go ahead and get myself a, uh, oh, let me make sure I get some, some uh, whipped cream and some of these strawberries. Hey, here we go. Hands down, this is the easiest and most delicious pie. Oh man, I just love strawberries, you know? Hey, look, this is just a great combination. And me saying strawberries, don't forget, you guys can make this with blueberries, you know, cherries, whatever type of fruit filling you want to put on the top, you can do that. Hey, I don't want to over talk it. Remember, we just trying to remember that we can make these quick, you know, desserts, super easy, big on flavor, all of that. Now, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and smash that subscribe button, right? And tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And listen, I'm in sort of a rush because I want to hurry up and eat mine, you know? So with that being said, I'm out of here, you guys. Peace.